Hello and welcome to another video where I will be finally doing some work on my Mark II Focus. This time I'm going to replace this Ford head unit with a much needed upgrade that I promised myself ages ago. Uh, Today everyone wants a Bluetooth, uh, making and receiving calls, DAB radio and so on and so on and this unit just simply just can't do it. Uh, I probably could upgrade it to have a, um, a Bluetooth module but that would only enable to make and to receive uh, calls, uh, not really to stream songs. Uh, I think there's a way to do it, but it's a little bit uh, complicated and so on. And the module for this car is not really that cheap anyway. And also the other thing is that I wanted DB radio. I probably could have gone for uh, the Sony DB radio that equipped uh, many titanium versions of the Focus. But the trouble is that it's the um, earlier type of DAB um, a norm. Uh, many um, many redecisions are now moving to DAB2, and uh, those units won't be compatible with it uh, anymore. I've thought about using one of those pure highway uh, DAB adapters, but I thought I don't want any more mess on the dashboard anyway, so I thought to just cut my losses and get something completely different. And therefore, I got a Kenwood DMX125 DAB unit. It is an excellent unit that had uh, excellent uh, reviews. You can uh, use the Bluetooth connection to make and receive calls. Also, to um, also, it has a DAV and DAV Plus and so on. It has a very good sound quality and the radio reception is actually much better compared to the uh, Ford unit. Uh, the one that I've bought was on Facebook Marketplace. It was actually cheaper than buying a brand new one. And the advantage of it, uh, the one that I've bought, was that it was fitted to another Focus Mark II. So it came with uh, the fascia adapter. Uh, so the, the surrounded that goes on the, on the front of the screen. It came with the steering wheel controls that work on the Focus and also with the Loom adapter that uh, uh, adapts from DIN, I think that's the name of it, into the Focus Loom. Plus also came with a microphone which I can just wriggle uh, the cabling and feed the cable and put on top of the uh, steering column. The only thing that it didn't come with was with the aerial. And here it is, I've bought it from uh, Halfords uh, for just about £20. It's one of those uh, stick-on aerials that we just uh, feed the cable through uh, the, um, uh, the the trim. So um, it was actually quite a good value for money and it does work very well indeed. Uh, making receive calls is an absolute uh, doddle. I can use the microphone function in order to uh, ask to, to play a song. Um, and the Bluetooth is actually really, really good. As soon as I step into the car, it starts to play my favorite songs and so on. I think it's really, really good. And even the FM radio is much better compared to this one. I know some of you viewers said that despite the um, aerial upgrade that I've done in my car, um, the problem was still with this unit. Yeah, I knew that, but only have the time and the money really to do finally the uh, audio upgrade that I always wanted. Now, let's look at the procedure that I've done in order to uh, do the upgrade. Right, so I just disconnect the arrow in here. Actually, just pull it like that. Lift. And there you go, and it's off. Now, as you can see in here, the way I bought this stereo, uh, the person already had left this in its own uh, cage. So I'm just going to um, connect the cables now. And this radio has quite a few functions. So not only it has the DAB function and also uh, uh, the ability to use it um, uh, for a, a phone and so on. It has a connection to a subwoofer, a connection for the microphone, which I'll add later, not at this time, and also the remote control for the uh, uh, connection, uh, for the steering wheel controls. 
and it all connects to the Ford loom. Also, for the uh, reverse camera, which I, I think it's quite uh, a lovely thing to have, but it will be an upgrade that I will be adding in the future. The microphone will basically go in here, uh, here on top of the um, steering column, and then I will just feed the cables through uh, the, the trim through here, and then it fits all to the so back. There's a clip here at the bottom, and I'll just add it just like that, and feed the cable. Actually, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to feed the microphone through there. Trying to do this with just one hand, which is a little bit difficult. Try to catch it with my hair. As an alternative, you probably can just hook this up to um, a piece of wire and so on and, and fish it out from there. But nevertheless, it's done now anyway. So I have to put the adapter for the aerial because it needs an adapter. Sometimes I wish I had three hands. I do sound a bit like that taxi driver in a Total Recall. Different purposes though. Just to make sure that everything works, I will do the aerial in a short while. Here's goes the connection for the Ford Loom. There you go. Which also connects the um, steering wheel controls the aerial connection and the microphone of course okay connect this one here but the usb connection i'm going to leave it for now i'm just putting everything back in place just to make sure it all fits nicely now let's see if this powers up oops Hmm. I kind of miss the chrome uh, trim. From oh, whoops. So we have to remove the trim. that so you see that it has these clips which clip onto these areas here and then it, what you have to do is just pull it out like that so here you are several connections for radio and so on I have uh, one here for the uh, camera which I try to hide the cables as much as I can now before you put the diesel antenna make sure that the um, uh, the windscreen is properly clean, really, really clean, with no uh, grease marks or anything like that. It is dry, and also make sure that they are ha your hands are also uh, very clean and dry, so that you don't see any fingerprint marks on the glass or on the adhesive. For installations like these, uh, make sure you do plan ahead with the route where you want the uh, cabling. Uh, for example, I probably could have it uh, like that with um, the, the strip like so 
or you could have it just like that if you want on the uh, driver's side. But I'm going to do it on the passenger side as I think it's a place where it has less obstruction. Before I take the sticky pads out, I'm just going to have a quick look. Like that. Okay, I'm going to put it roughly around here where there is a metal strip. Like so. And now just bit by bit I then remove And then just like that, you see, you don't take this, take the sticker completely, you don't peel it off completely and just follow the road just like that. Make sure it is proper stuck. So you see in here, I put the metal backing plate in here it has a, like a copper surface in here I just leave a bit of a space and it's all nice and stuck in here and then following and there you go it's all installed now now I'm just going to route the cables inside um, through this area around here and then through the glove box all the way to the um, radio unit area. So I've um, clipped all the cables in here using the, um, the clips that are supplied by Ford on the car itself and then I've just a curve just uh, basically make it like a u-shape of the cables and fed them through this hole there. You see? And then with the pick it up from here oh before uh, you have to remove the um, glove box uh, using uh, the um, uh, number 20 or 25 uh, uh, Torx uh, bits uh, unclip the auxiliary uh, jack and then you'll be able to uh, open all this up and then just once you have all the cables fr on the top and try to catch with your hand you will be able to see the cables you see my hand is just underneath and then try to pull them all the way through and then you'll be able to feed them they're actually quite long these cables able to feed them to the radio unit just like that doing this one with one hand which can be a bit tricky and there you go. Oh, actually, there you go. And now he needs an earth connection. Just somewhere in the car. Okay, everything is connected in place now. And for the earth connection, what I've done, I chose to pick uh, the uh, just removed the insulation a bit more made a nye shaped um, uh, wiring and then connected to this uh, connection in here so just remove the, uh, the the screw and then just connect everything all together in the hope that it will work now uh, let's have a look so everything is connected up now so the aerial the FM aerial the DAB is connected everything's in place i'm going to leave the um, uh, the usb connection out uh, inside because i don't really need it for now 
I might do it in the future, but it's not something that I will need. Uh, the microphone is um, connected, remote. Okay, I'm not going to put anything back in, just offer up just like that. And then make sure uh, that everything's working before I tighten all the screws and put all the trim back in. Well, I'm very happy with the result. The AB is working absolutely fine, absolutely amazing sound quality. And even with the standard speakers, the sound that comes out of this thing is really, really good. Wow. Well, now let's just put everything back in, back in place. And there you have it. It's all installed, everything back into place, all neat, tidy and working perfectly as it should. I'm very happy with it. It's been a few days since I had this in the car and I'm really enjoying uh, the um, features of the DAB radio, which comes up as a very nice treat on the way to work and sometimes on the way back as well. So uh, some of you might be asking, uh, why haven't I gone for an extra Android unit? Well, the reason for that was because I've heard uh, mixed reviews uh, about them. Some some users do rave about them, others uh, not so keen on about them. And uh, to be fair, I always wanted something from Kenwood, Sony or Pioneer anyway. And this came up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. It had all the features uh, because it already came from a, a uh, Mark II Focus. So I thought, why not? So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on next video. Take care.